We begin this hour with a question that so many people have right now, that life-threatening winter storm that is impacting nearly every state in the nation. The National Weather Service is calling this a once-in-a-generation storm. Several states are already getting hammered with the frigid air as temperatures plunge ahead of Christmas weekend. That's causing some big headaches at the airports. As you might imagine, more than 1,800 domestic flights have already been canceled today, and that number is likely to climb. That's right. Portions of 32 states are under a wind chill warning. People in Montana and the Dakotas could see wind chills at, get this, negative 50 degrees through the weekend. Earlier, President Biden was briefed on the storm. It's not like a snow day, you know, when you're a kid. This is serious stuff. Please take this storm extremely seriously. And I don't know whether your boss will let you, but if you all have travel plans, leave now. Let's bring in CBS News correspondent Elise Preston from Chicago. Elise, what are you seeing and feeling from where you are? I'm sort of was looking behind you. No snowflakes there right now. Just a few. Yeah, the temperature is obviously dropping there. Yes, and you can feel those uh, temperatures dropping. Good afternoon to you, uh, Dana and Lana. It feels a lot colder than it did just a few hours ago. The winds have kicked up, and you can see the snow is falling here in Chicago. Uh, the, the area is under a winter storm warning that's expected to expire early Saturday morning. So this is just the beginning of this storm as it is hitting Chicago right now. Wind gusts are expected to kick up to about 55 miles per hour. And the wind chill here, it's going to be so cold that it is going to feel like 30 below. We are not uh, near there right now, but I can tell you it is cold. My body, I'm, I'm layered, but I am feeling uh, that cold even with this uh, wind kicking up. Uh, it, it is cold here and people are out and about. They're taking it seriously, but I can tell you that just I've been here for the last uh, few days. You two are fellow Midwesterner natives, and and this winter weather is no, um, it's no stranger. But people are taking this seriously. They have t they've stocked up at hardware stores to try to winterize their homes. They've stocked up at grocery stores. I went to go get some new wet weather winter gear to handle this weather, and that store was pretty much out of a lot of items. They said that they had sold so many items in the last couple days. It was the most business that they had done in several years, Dana and Lana. Well, Elise, what have you been hearing from local officials as they're trying to prepare for this storm? One of the other things we were talking about is uh, O'Hare is such a central hub with so many people traveling. Have you learned more about that? Yeah, so officials have been warning people because that this weather was coming and the timing of this storm. This is just a few days before Christmas. Christmas is this weekend. So that is also kind of causing um, this chaos as people as far as people going out and getting what they need. Also doing some last minute Christmas shopping, some traveling. So officials were warning people to kind of go ahead if they could, if they were hitting the roads to get on the roads early, get to their destination before now, before this winter weather came. As far as the airports, hundreds of flights have been canceled between O'Hare and Midway just today. And uh, those flight cancellations are expected to continue as these temperatures drop and they're dropping drastically as they drop. Flights will not be able to take off, not just because of the snow that's falling, but that wind that's going to kick up 55 miles per hour. That would be a bumpy ride for those travelers trying to get in and out of Chicago. And also, with these temperatures dropping, if it gets too cold, the, the planes just cannot fly. So we've seen a lot of cancellations. People were told to try to get to their travel destinations before this weather even hit. And officials are saying, take this seriously. They also have hundreds of snowplow trucks ready on standby to treat these roads as soon as it hits, as well as uh, trucks to kind of get out there and, and fix utilities uh, in case that power goes out across the area, guys. I'm just thinking, I'm thinking, baby, it's cold outside. You know, like, be better to just stay, stay inside and snuggle up with someone. Yeah, All right, Elise, yeah. very merry holidays to you.